You probably heard LNG, which stands for liquefied natural gas. Did you ever hear liquefied nitrogen gas? Methane can be liquefied at a temperature of negative 259 Fahrenheit, while to liquefy nitrogen, the temperature is even lower down to negative 320 Fahrenheit. In this video, a simulation is modeled in HASIS to demonstrate how nitrogen gas is turned into nitrogen liquid. Let us start with the gaseous nitrogen at 15 psi A. The gaseous nitrogen is first compressed in the MP compressor up to about 70 psi A and then it's further compressed in the HP compressor to about 410 psi. And a fraction of the vapor 109 is further boosted to about 630 psi A through the warm booster, which is driven by the warm expander. The gas is further boosted to about 940 psi A through the cold booster, which is driven by the cold expander. And then the gas is sent to the main heat exchanger MHE. After being cooled to about negative 135 Fahrenheit, a portion of the gas is extracted and expanded in the cold expander, and the other portion of the gas is completely liquefied in the liquid form, and then both of these two streams are sent to the MP separator. The liquid outlet of the sep MP separator is further subcooled in a subcooler, and then majority of the of the liquid is sent back to the storage tank where the lean liquid nitrogen product can be trucked for sale, and the other small portion is flashed in the LP separator to provide code to subcool the liquid, and then the low pressure, low temperature gas is sent back to the MP compressor after the code is being recovered in the main heat exchanger. As you recall, the other portion of the gas, 201, is also sent to the main heat exchanger, but it is withdrawn at a temperature about 41 Fahrenheit, and then it is expanded to about 70 PSIA in the warm expander. After mixing with the vapor from the MP separator, it goes back to the HP compress compressor. There are two recycle loops, the low pressure recycle loop and the medium pressure recycle loop. Low pressure recycle loop starts from 15 PSIA, compressed, further compressed, boosted, and further boosted until it reaches the highest pressure, 940 3 PSIA, and then the pressure is laid down through the cold expander and the JT valve to about 70 PSIA in the MP separator, and then it is further laid down to about 15 PSIA in the LP separator, and then goes back to the MP compressor. That is a low pressure recycle loop. The medium, medium pressure recycle loop starts from about 70 PSIA, is compressed, and then it is expanded in the warm expander to about 70 PSIA, and then goes back to the HP compressor. To minimize the nitrogen liquefaction power, the key is to optimize the main heat exchangers. As you can see, there are three sections of this heat exchanger. This is the hot composite and cold composite heat release curve. As you can see, the hot and the cold, the temperature difference is very tight. They are pretty much, they are in parallel. That is a signal of a good, of an optimized heat exchanger. If you look at, at a, another different, uh, different plot type, 
the y-axis is the delta temperature, and the x-axis is the temperature. As you can see, there are four pinch points, one, two, three, four, and all those four pinch points are pretty much at four Fahrenheit difference. Thank you very much for watching this video. It is brought to you by Guo Fu Chen. More interesting topics can be found at showcase.guofuchen.com.